Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Bernie Meyer. Well, this week's lesson is a really fun one. It's called How to Play by Ear, and it's volume one of a new series on my site dedicated to improving your ability to play by ear. Okay, so in this particular lesson, volume one, I'm showing you how to take simple melodies and play and also harmonize them in any key. So go ahead and print out your tab and let's go ahead and get going here with How to Play by Ear, volume one. Okay, so when I first started playing by ear, what I found is it's kind of a way of playing through trial and error, right? Where you kind of plunk around until you find the note you're looking for, and then you found that note by ear, right? As opposed to looking at a sheet of music or the tab. You know, you can do the same thing with playing chords by ear or whatever. You just kind of noodle around on your instrument until you find that note that you're looking for. So that note that you're looking for, that's a note that you're hearing in your head, right? Um, all of you guys probably know Mary Had a Little Lamb, and if, if I were to ask you to hum that or, or sing that, you could probably sing that back to me. Okay, so that's kind of a version of playing by ear, is that you take whatever you're hearing in your head, and you're able to transfer that to your instrument. Okay, and people that have quote-unquote good ears, they're able to do that really quickly, to the point to where whatever they hear in their head, it's instantly transferred to their instrument. Okay, so we want to get to that point, but between not knowing how to play by ear and getting to that point, that's a pretty long way. But just remember that one of the most basic parts of playing by ear is taking something that's in your head and being able to sing, whistle, hum, or grunt the melody in a certain way to where you can match what you're singing to your instrument and it's gonna be in the right key and it's gonna be what you're looking for, right? Um, whether you're figuring something out off a CD or just figuring something out that you already have in your head that you're just trying to transfer to your instrument. Okay, so that being said, we need to talk about scales because what, is, what scales do is they really reduce your, your errors in the trial and error method of playing, um, playing by ear. So when you know scales, basically what that does is that rules out certain notes that you know are not gonna be in that melody, probably. You know, those it might go outside the key and, and all that, but for the most part, if you know your scales, that melody is gonna stick pretty much within that scale. And um, also what you start doing is you start seeing shapes and you start seeing patterns and you start seeing things kind of, these, these dots start connecting for you when you're playing by ear. And uh, your ear is gonna recognize those patterns. Okay, so let's go ahead then and I'm gonna go through the uh, C major scale and I'm gonna show you it in two different ways, okay? We're gonna take this positional way of playing, which I think is the easiest way to play the resonator, is just to go in positions at first. Okay, so let's talk about that now. Okay, so how you wanna start off here playing by ears, you wanna be in a position that's really comfortable for you. So what I find most resonator players, what's really comfortable for them is to play in these positions, right? To where when you strum that chord, you're in the key of C, and to really know, you know, what all you can play, not only chord-wise in this position, but also melodically. Melodically meaning, you know, single note, one note at a time. So what I've done here is I've showed, in the tab there, measures one through four, I've showed you basically two different ways of playing the same scale. It's the same thing, it's just two different ways. And how this is divided up is one of the ways is gonna be in front of your bar, Right, so you have your C major scale in front of your bar. What that means is your notes will be going this way. There won't be any notes behind the bar. For example, here's a C major scale in front of the bar. Okay, so if you noticed, Everything is in front of the bar there. Okay, the second way of playing that is behind the bar, where most of your notes you're gonna be getting behind your bar. Let me show you that. Okay, so if you noticed, 
those notes were kind of in this general area behind the bar except when I get on my first string and I have to play in front of the bar up to that uh, whatever that is that second octave of the C major scale okay so that's the exact same scale it's just two different ways of playing it right and I'm gonna show you how to play those in detail in just a second but I'm just kinda of telling you the theory behind my teaching process here okay so what I call this position here this what I'm getting ready to show you is this is the seed okay this is the the first this is the foundation everything's gonna grow off of what I'm showing you here so if the easiest way to play the resonator is in these positions right so when you're changing keys if you wanted to change to the key of D you just move up here to your seventh fret now okay so if you know these scales in front of your your major scale where it works in front of your bar and your major scale where it works in back of your bar and you can you know your your chords right your your positional chords then you can play everything that I show you today in the key of C you can play that in any other key as long as you keep within these positions and that's step one okay that's the seed and what I mean by that is things will grow from that seed right once you get basically this this much of your neck of your instrument down these other branches will form from that kind of around what you already know so it's not that you learn this and then you learn something else then you learn something else you learn this as your as your foundation this is your seed and then you're just gonna keep adding to that like the branches of, the, of a tree and it's just gonna grow like that too so it'll grow you know out this way to where you know your scales in open position and then you know your scales higher up on your neck maybe higher up on your lower strings but it all has to start from one location and that's the seed that's where we're at right here so like I said the first step in how to play by ear is learning your major scales and um, getting those down really well and then playing melodies that you have in your head and seeing how they fit within this scale right so how this is going to work for you is sometimes melodies you might want to go and play within the key but play behind your bar so if you know your scale behind your bar you've got notes that you can choose from if you know your scales in front of your bar you've got places where you can go all of a sudden the neck is starting to make sense to you okay and it's not just you know you have no idea where you're going or no idea what note to choose from and you're not always have to having to just play melodies up here on your first string or just on one string now you can play these melodies within your grips of your chords here okay so that being said let's go and I'm going to show you exactly how to play this major scale in front of your bar and behind your bar okay so um, what we're doing is we're following along in the tab here in the, in the tab I've got measures one and two and that's the C major scale version one closed position closed position meaning we're not using any open strings we're just in this kind of boxy shape here and this is first one is going to be the in front of the bar shape now a lot of you may already know this and if you got the video just fast forward you don't you may not need to see this or you can watch it and it'll just be a refresher course for you okay so what we got is a C major scale we got C fifth fret sixth string and seventh fret for D move to your fifth string fifth fret and sixth fret 